Greetings and welcome to another episode of Conquering Diabetes. So on Facebook, I'll often look at the comment section in the diabetes ads, and I've noticed that there's a rift between type 1 and type 2 patients, and it's understandable. When I use the word diabetes, I'm only thinking of how it relates to me, as in my mom has type 2 diabetes, so therefore in my mind, diabetes means type 2. And because so many people are being diagnosed with it, just about everyone is likely thinking the same thing. Not only that, but the treatments are mainly focused on type 2 patients, possibly again because of the massive amount of people that are being diagnosed. But here's what I'm thinking. All diabetics are in the same boat. The reasons for being in that boat might be different, but everyone is still there for a single reason. Their system can't handle glucose or carbs. And as far as I know, this is true across the board because it's not just type 1 and type 2. There's women with gestational diabetes, like I had it with my pregnancies, older patients with type 3, and so on. The treatment is the same because the problem is the same. When I had gestational diabetes, I saw how carbs shot my blood sugar up. And as the pregnancies went on, I became even more insulin resistant until I was basically just eating meat and cheese because those were the only things that didn't raise my blood sugar through the roof. My mom is in a similar place because of how hypersensitive she is. And I know a couple of type 1 diabetics that are trying to keep their carb count as low as possible to keep the spikes down to limit the amount of insulin they would need. We can actually all be on the same team because the goal is good health through managed blood sugar. I keep going back to my husband's name for it. He called it the blood sugar level diet slash lifestyle. (laughs) That's a mouthful. Not just for type 2 or type 1, but for everyone with a system that can't take care of large amounts of glucose. Anyway, that is all for today. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.